When you're shooting in bright light with the Osmo Action, you're giving your action camera the best light it needs for its tiny sensor. You can control the light using ND filters so you can get more natural looking motion, but here's what happened to me. I was filming outside and I was getting a weird glare from the water on a lake and the sky, well, it didn't look as blue as I saw it with my own eyes. So I started playing with the filters. So check out this footage. I was able to change the filters and how they worked right on the camera. Welcome, I'm Chuck, and today I'm going to tell you how I got deeper, richer colors and some control over light reflected from water with the Osmo Action. I'm a consumer like most of you who bought the Osmo Action, and I love using it. If you're like me, you get small windows of time to use it, and you want to get great shots quickly. But like any other tool or piece of equipment, well, you have to get to know it and practice so you can get videos fast. Now, if that's you and you're like me with that, hit that like button below. Anyways, so that's what I was doing when I was using ND filters and practicing while at a resort in Orlando a few months ago. We were on a family birthday getaway so I could practice and use the Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket while I was there. So while we all gathered for a morning hike on a huge resort, I was able to use a time to get some shots in outside. But in one shot, something wasn't right. I was shooting the lake around the hotel. The video, well, it looked hazy on the monitor screen and the sky, it didn't look as blue as I saw it with my own eyes. Now I had ND filters so I can shoot smooth motion using cinematic rules and I changed them for the right light, but the sky, it looked hazy and the water looked a bit bright and overblown. I was stumped, so I started thinking quickly what it could be, since the group would be looping back so we could have lunch. So then the thought hit me, circular polarizing filters. When I took a digital photography class a few years back, the instructor, he showed us how he used them to filter lights reflected from water and non-metallic surfaces. Using them can also help with bright light reflecting on rocks, plants, and can help with haze in the sky. So that's why the sky didn't look right. Even though it was morning, the humidity in the Florida sky was starting to increase, so the moisture in the air was starting to reflect light. That's why later in the day, it becomes hazy or steamy looking. Well, guess what? While I was looking at the filters I had, I had totally forgot I had purchased ND filters with a polarizer on them. As you can see here on the side of these Freewell ND filters are the letters PL. So here's that footage I showed you at the beginning and I rotated the lens and it made the sky deeper and the water less reflective. When I discovered I had PL filters with me, I played with them to see the changes. Now, when you purchase polarizing filters for most digital cameras, they're known as circular polarizing filters or CPL filters because they're sprayed with a coating using a pattern that controls light for digital cameras, sensors, and lenses. Now, the other kind of filters are made for large format film cameras and they're called linear polarizing filters. They have a line pattern built into the glass that looks like really tiny lines to filter light kind of like your vertical blinds do on your windows. So here's a quick rule to have success with the way you shoot with polarizers outside. With CPL filters, use this, your thumb. You want your light source to be 90 degrees from your subject, so point to your subject and then use your thumb. The sun or main light source should be where your thumb is pointing, and that's within 90 degree axis of where your index finger is pointing. If not, change the angle from where you're shooting by simply moving right or left while pointing to your subject. And here's an example where this didn't work because the sun, it was right behind me. You can see the sky and the distance change, but the reflective light from the pavement and some of the foliage didn't change. The angle of light hitting the scene wasn't 90 degrees to the right or left of my subject, which was the pathway. Now here's another example of me taking a shot on the intercoastal waterway from Birch State Park here in Fort Lauderdale. I set up a filter to get deeper color of the sky and water as I pointed north. Now the sun was to my left, and as I pan left to get some jet skiers, you can see the light is brighter and the clouds were really reflective on the water, but as I pan right back to the north, you can see the deeper color of sky and the water. 
Now polarizers, they can work inside too if you're working with lights and reflective surfaces. I took this shot with a regular polarizing filter and as you can see, the table and its reflections of light get filtered to give you a richer scene. So by the time everyone was returning to where I was on the path back to the hotel, I was able to get some nice shots in using the ND polarizing filters. I was able to practice and learn about my gear and thank goodness I already had purchased ND filters with polarizers. Now I put links below to the magnetic set by PolarPro and a screw on set by Freewell in the description below. I have both and they work great. If you want to learn more about ND filters to get cinematic shots, click over here. If you like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.